Good morning and God bless you. We're delighted to have you with us here this morning. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Uh, perhaps you're joining with us here for the first time. We also want to extend a warm welcome to you and trust that you're blessed with what you hear today. We want to begin with prayer. We want to continue to be praying for our president in our nation, our local community, and also Cornerstone Pentecostal Church. Perhaps you have a special unspoken request. This is a perfect time to make that known unto God. Let's pray together. Father, we love you. We praise you. We give you thanks in all things. Father, I pray for our president and our nation during these very tumultuous times. Also, we pray for our local community that you will continue to open up doors of revival. And also, we want to pray for Cornerstone Pentecostal Church and members in particular. We pray that you'll open up the windows of heaven and pour out your provision, your protection, and your presence. We ask all this in the name above every name, the name of Jesus Christ, and everybody said, Amen. Well, it's Thanksgiving 2020, and I woke up this morning. I'm thankful for that. Um, I was able to get out of bed on my own. I'm thankful for that. Um, I got dressed and headed into the kitchen. I'm thankful for that. I was able to make coffee and enjoy the coffee uh, with a spot of creamer in it. I was thankful for that. I went into my special place for prayer and was able to uh, call on the name of the Lord and feel his presence. I was thankful for that. Uh, I started praying uh, for my wife, my children, my beautiful daughter-in-law, my wonderful son-in-law. I'm thankful for that. I was praying for my grandchildren uh, that are healthy and uh, growing like weeds. I'm thankful for that. I began to pray for Cornerstone Pentecostal Church and all that God is doing with us and going to do through us. I'm thankful for that. Um, I was praying about our new building. We take possession of it on Monday. I'm thankful for that. The list goes on and on and on. You know, the difference between a person that's thankful and a person that may be, well, maybe not so much, it all comes down to thought life. What do we dwell upon? What do we choose to think upon? And while I was praying this morning, I thought, is there a difference between thanksgiving and gratefulness? And I ruminated on that. I meditated upon that. I, I professed that I was grateful to God. I professed that I was thankful to God. And in the end, I could not determine that there was a distinction and a difference between being grateful and being thankful. Several weeks ago, I did a morning devotional um, that was entitled, I'm trying to think of it, I believe it was called, um, Thank God I'm Here, or I Shouldn't Be Here, or something of that nature, where as I look over my past, most of it under the blood, all of it under the blood, I realize and I recognize that there were moments in my history that I immediately could have been taken out. Either a driver crossing the dividing line in a head-on collision or me getting behind the wheel of an automobile and I was way beyond being legally intoxicated. I could, I could spend a long time talking about this and so could some of you. Oh, I remember what it was. He let me live. I am thankful that he let me live. And I think that if we will keep that in the forefront, forefront of our mind and our thinking, that we will be able to keep all of the negative considerations that all of us have and the negative things that we all have to deal with and all the things that are going on all around us. You can keep those in check. When you hold it against he let me live. I am alive today because of him. I am saved today because of him. I am on my way to heaven 
because of him. I could go on all day. You could go on all day. This is a great day. Spend it rejoicing in the Lord. Let your mind become full of the promises and the benefits and the great things that are revealed to us through the word of God. All of us have so much to be thankful for. Praise God. And the Bible says, and I wanted to make sure that I hit this, in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 1, it says, I exhort thee, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, and intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for this church. I'm thankful for your steadfastness, your faithfulness, your belief in end-time revival and the things that God wants to do in us and through us, because I really do believe that we're just getting started. So I'm thankful for you, each and every one of you. I'm thankful for the staff. I'm thankful for those that work in, in all the departments of the church, no matter what level of minutia or things that are highly visible. I'm thankful for the faithfulness, your steadfastness, your love for God, your love for the things of God. I'm thankful for all of you. And so enjoy this day. Let it be a day that's filled with laughter. Push back the darkness. Push back the negativity. And realize he let you live. We've got a lot to be thankful for. God bless you all. Have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow morning.